Hi, this is Dr. Rob Rosbrook from the Hospital for Special Surgery, and I wanted to discuss some of the advances we've made with stature lengthening surgery, particularly using the precise stride nails, which is a weight-bearing internal lengthening nail. This is a normal distribution, and this is important in terms of the way that we think about height. 50th percentile is depicted by the point that is the highest and which most people are um, uh, measured at. And then you get to the lower percentiles, that's the bottom two and a half percent um, depicted by the red. Now this is applicable when we think about height, which is a normal distribution. And the 50th percentile for male height is five foot nine and a half. The 50th percentile for female height is five foot four and a half. So a five foot four male would be in the 2.6 percentile uh, for the male graph. And uh, that means that 97% of men are taller than this individual. The five foot four also happens to be approximately the average height for a woman. And the reason I think that this is somewhat relevant and important is that it helps explain the way a five foot four male may feel in terms of what percentage of other men are taller than him as he experiences the world on a daily basis. So this is an example of a patient of mine, Justin, who's a 30 year old male who is five foot four and he's in the 2.6 percentile. And as we just discussed, it means that 97% of men are taller than him. While he, is, while he has normal function and he has normal alignment and his leg lengths are equal and his symmetry and his proportionality is normal, he is distressed about this issue from a psychological point of view. And this is related to the human desire to fit in and be normal. Um, he communicates to me that this affects his confidence, that he doesn't feel he's taken seriously. It interferes with social situations, both in and out of the workplace, and he's concerned about work advancement. Now, he has had psychological evaluation and clearance for this surgery. Of note, therapy has not helped him get rid of these feelings. He does have self-awareness and he has reasonable expectations. So I wanna take you through the um, typical um, scenario uh, of how this uh, uh, works and the flow of it. So this is about three weeks after the surgery. The stride nail has been inserted into the marrow cavity of the bone. Distraction has occurred and the bone starts to pull apart gradually. Now this whole process takes advantage of the body's ability to regenerate new bone. So as the bone is uh, being regenerated, it's being slowly pulled apart by the telescopic nail. There's a magnet inside the nail represented by this blue tri uh, rectangle. And then there's a remote control device that goes on the thigh, which communicates with the magnet and it spins the magnet and it elongates the nail. So over time, the distraction gap gets longer as the bone is being pulled apart slowly. This is typically done at around one millimeter per day. And over time, you can see that it is progressing and the gap and the length continues to elongate. <clears throat> After several months, the, uh, the gap is starting to consolidate nicely. This is the right femur, the front view, and the side view. And this is the left femur, front view, and side view. This is the beginning x-ray. And this is the final x-ray at the end of the distraction. The ankle levels are noted here. The knee levels are noted here, and you can see that the length has been gained in the femurs with a total of eight centimeters of new length. At six months, these patients have quite a nice function because they have not been in a wheelchair. They are weight-bearing immediately from the beginning, and uh, that makes a big difference in terms of their ability to remain flexible. You can see the flexibility in the knee, um, and in the hips and the hamstrings and the quadriceps. This is stretching the, the hip in a prone position. 
both the uh, right side and the left sides. At six months, the patient is walking reasonably well. This is big advance and much different than what we saw with the precise nail. This is now with the stride nail. One year after the surgery, the nails are removed after the bone is fully healed and remodeled. This is the right femur, front view and side view. And this is the left femur, front view and side view. Now the Nuvasive Precise Stride Nail has been a big advance uh, over the uh, Precise Nail. The Stride Nail is made out of um, stainless steel. The Precise Nail was made out of titanium. And essentially the Stride Nail has, is, is substantially stronger than the Precise Nail was and it allows the patient to be weight bearing and it eliminates the need for a wheelchair. That is both convenient, but it also makes the rehabilitation much better. Patients get um, uh, maintain their flexibility much better, and patients avoid atrophy. So we get faster recovery. Here's another example of a patient, Sandy, 17-year-old boy, who <clears throat> had premature closure of his growth plates, some precocious puberty, um, and he is in the 1.1 percentile. Again, that means that 99% of uh, males his age are taller than him, and that's how he experiences the world. Um, after the surgery, he, he uses a remote control device that spins the magnet in the nail. He places it over the anterior thigh several times a day for a total of a few minutes per day. There's no pain associated with this. And over a three month period, there is progression to 80 millimeters. And so you can see if you pay attention to the distraction gap, the gradual elongation of the distraction gap until it reaches 80 millimeters. At this point, the bone is soft, but over time, the consolidation and the mineralization of the bone progresses and it becomes quite strong. We have <clears throat> looked at our orthopedic and psychological outcomes after stature lengthening surgery. This is an upcoming publication. And when, I, when we talk about outcomes, they include both orthopedic and psychological. Now the orthopedic outcomes are really to just um, uh, show and that there isn't any damage caused by this operation. And we found no loss of joint motion, no infections or nerve injuries, and no unwanted bony deformity or leg length discrepancy. What we did find was a significant psychological improvement in two validated scores that are used to um, uh, measure happiness and uh, quality of life and body image, something called the SIBID score and the Beakley score. We were able to show that after the stature lengthening surgery, patients had significant improvement in both of these scores. So in summary, we've had really good experience uh, with stature lengthening surgery. We've been doing it for many years and it has, it, have, it has evolved from using external fixation to using internal lengthening nails and now the stride nail, which is a fully weight-bearing internal lengthening nail. Thanks for your attention.